In this video, we will be showing you how to connect an LS electric VFD to an Allen Bradley Compact or Control Logix PLC. We will be setting it up as a generic Ethernet mm -hmm. module, and we will also be going through the AOI installation and setup. First, start off by right clicking Ethernet and adding a new module. We will be setting up the VFD as a generic Ethernet module. Enter a name for the device, and then select an integer as the data type. We will be using input instance 71, size 2, output instance 21, size 2, configuration 100, and then set up an IP address. If we take a second to review the Ethan IP module manual, we can see that the IP address is set in COM 10 through 13. The subnet mask is set in COM 14 through 17, and the gateway is set in COM 18 through 21. You want to make sure this matches up to the settings on your PLC to make sure you are on the same network. Uh, additionally, the uh, CIP input instance and output instance, which we set up, uh, those are set in COM 23 and 24 accordingly on the drive. And lastly, it's very important to note that you actually want to disable the wrapping net at COM25. Set that to a zero. Additionally, to implement all of these communication changes, you'll have to go to CM94 to do a communication update. To set up the add-on instructions, right-click on add-on instructions and import the add-on instructions. Locate the file that you downloaded off the LS Electric's website, click OK, and let the file import. Now click Parameters and Local Tags, select the data type, which is the tag we imported, and then the device name, whatever you named your VFD. Now at the main routine, you can drag the add-on instruction into the program. Select the input and output node assemblies. And then go ahead and put your program online to test out the AOI. Be sure to hit download, let your program load. And I would also like to note at this screen here, you can see your network reference status and network control status is uh, both illuminated green, and that's because we have DRV 6 and 7 both set to field bus. So we are doing full control through the Ethernet module. If we did not have those set up, those two um, bits would not be illuminated. And now that everything is all updated, we could test out the AOI. First we'll put in a speed reference. This is an RPM, it's 500 RPM. Run forward. We can see our actual speed rise up as we go through our acceleration time. Stop the drive, ramps down, give a reverse run, and we see it ramp back up. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Should you have any questions, please contact us at the email provided here.